Ryland and Tasha Hireman's home in Ashland is one of our stops where another innovative and highly efficient wall construction is used. It's called Insulated Concrete Forms, or ICFs. Less insurance, mortgage rates are better, they allow you more money because you're building a structure that has an estimated lifespan of a couple hundred years versus 30, 40, 50 years. So Ryland, uh -huh. these insulated concrete forms that I see here are in those fine walls. They're hidden well, but true. The way you, only way you can really tell that you're looking at, a, at an ICF home is by the thickness of the walls and the thickness of the windows. So you look through here, any and this house as well. You've got about a foot thick wall showing sure. because you, you're, you're talking um, six inches of concrete, over a little two and a half inches of foam. What is it? Two and five eighths on each side. Okay, and and then from there you 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 do your siding right to that. You have on the inside you do your sheetrock straight to it, and on the outside you do your siding straight to it. There are built-in uh, nailers right here, that hard, high density hard plastic nailers that serve as the studs that you screw into. Hmm. Uh, so you end up with, you know, the, the the net effect, the net look would be the same as a stick built home. It's just you aren't using the wood, and you end up with a a, a thicker, tighter, more, more sealed, and more efficient. Usually what you save is about 70%, 60% energy costs. Mm -hmm. um, heating systems are downsized mm -hmm. because of the energy efficiency. So they're usually about half the size of a normal square footage in a stick built house. And what will happen is that that energy savings will come back to you and what you pay over the cost of building a stick built house to an ICF house that will come back to you within three or four years on average. We experienced that, so we spent a lot less on our heating system. We do, we do not have a, an AC system. We do not have a forced air system. It's all radiant heated floor. This, this, the concrete itself and the floor is heated off of our hot water heater. So we used one high efficiency hot water heater and that runs the heat through the floors and upstairs. And basically it all is contained within the mass of the concrete forms. Oh. So we, you know, ended up spending at least half of what we would have spent for conventional, and I know our bills are lower, so it's been a win-win.